house of God, lighting your path. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. In a very special way, I would like to thank my man of God, Pastor Dennis Amos Emojong, and my woman of God, Reverend Prophetess Anne Emojong, for giving me such an opportunity to minister to you the voice of God devotional, for I do not take it for granted. Dad and Mom, thank you so much. And today is the 28th of June. Wednesday 2023 and a man of God has given us a very interesting message that he has entitled the strength to possess God's promises. The strength to possess God's promises according to Deuteronomy 11 and verses 8 and the Bible says Therefore, you shall keep every commandment which I command you today that you may be strong and Go in and possess the land which you cross over to possess. Glory to Jesus. Pastor Dennis Amos Emojong, the president of Embassy of God Ministry, says all the commandments that God gave the children of Israel were to strengthen them to possess the promised land. Hallelujah. They needed to build their faith, possessing it first in the spirit before possessing in the physical. Glory to Jesus. For a child of God, possessing is not by might. Just like the children of Israel, God has given you the word as the material to strengthen you. Glory to Jesus. So that you can enter that marriage, business, or job. From the time Adam sinned, we are living on a battleground. A man of God, Pastor Dennis Amos Emojong says, the word teaches you to walk the right way. That is the God way. Hallelujah. It is impossible to be an addict, reader of the word of God and fade in life. He promised that you will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. According to Isaiah 30 and verses 21, the voice you hear is the word of God. The word is a light for your feet. The world is full of darkness. You cannot navigate it without the light of God. Glory to Jesus. A man of God says, the word delivers you to your inheritance. You need to know what belongs to you and have the faith to go for it. Hallelujah. Galatians 4 verses 1 says, The hair, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is a master of all. Glory to Jesus. This is why the children of Israel died in the wilderness. Only Joshua and Caleb took possession of the promises because they took God at his word. Hallelujah. Let's start to meditation scriptures, Acts 20 and 32. The Bible says, So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Isaiah 55 and verses 11. The Bible says, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Glory to Jesus. A one-year Bible study plan. Make sure you read Proverbs 9 to 10 and Galatians chapter 4. Now I request you to rise up on your feet as we decree and declare these words prophetically over our lives. You are going to repeat after me. One, two, three, let's go. I decree and declare that I am strengthened to possess my promised land because I'm standing on the promises of God. God is not a man that he should lie. He is not human that he changes his mind. All the promises he has given me he will deliver because he has never spoken and failed to act. Hallelujah. 
go ahead and bless the name of our Lord Jesus by speaking in tongues. La de bosha kataya, raga bosho kotele bosha katebe bebe, radiga mosha kataya ba 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 ba. We bless you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. Mighty are the works of your hands. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, and everyone says, Amen and Amen.